Now it's great that we have moved our uh, navigation links from every single page into our main application layout page, but we can actually take this one step further and clean this file up a little bit more. So to do that, I'm going to do something called create a partial. So to do it, I'm going to say render and then shared nav. So this won't do anything right now. In fact, it'll throw an error because we don't have a directory called shared and a file or a partial called nav. So that's what we'll do next. Inside views, right click on it and type in new folder. And I'm gonna call this shared. And inside shared, let's create a file. Now save this as a very important naming convention. So you have to do underscore nav.html.erb. So now what we can do is take all this code right here, dump it inside of this file, and now we'll have access to the exact same navigation up here. So I'll hit refresh and you can see nothing's changed, which is what we want because what this means is from an application flow perspective, the user sees the application and it loads. We have right here this line to render shared nav. What it's doing is it's calling this file and it's placing the contents of this file right inside here. So now, instead of every time we have a navigation change, instead of having to go and make a change in this application file, we just have to change the smaller file and it'll update the entire app. And you may wonder why you'd wanna do this. And the big reason is because the bigger your application gets and the more uh, CSS and JavaScript design elements that you build into it, you'll see that this file has a tendency to get very big and it can be pretty troublesome and difficult to debug the bigger it gets and it's considered a bad practice to do that. So whenever you have an element that gets starts to get pretty large, a view element that starts to get pretty large, then it's usually considered a good idea to move that out of the file and put it inside of shared. And this does not just go for things like the navigation system. A great example of this would be, say that you want to show your projects on multiple pages. What we can do, and what we're going to do right now, is build out a partial that calls that uh, and can be called from any other page. So say we wanna have a, a projects partial. So I'm gonna go into shared, new file, hit save, underscore projects, dot html dot erb if i can type and i'm going to come to our home page and i'm going to take out this and dump it in here and here in home i'm just going to say render shared projects and if i come here Oh, I don't have to even restart the server, hit refresh, and nothing's changed. And you may wonder you know, why you'd want to do something like that. And there's uh, actually a very good reason. And the reason is because say that you have one of these elements, say for example, this project element, and you have a bunch of different pages that you're gonna to wanna to put this on. You may have it as a widget, you may have five different spots in the application you wanna put it in, and each time you wanna have the exact same look and feel. Do you wanna go make five different changes? No, you definitely would not want to. So say I want to, uh, you're building the project and your boss comes in and you're like, he's like, oh, it looks great, but I want you to now add the description in italics. So if I have done this with a partial, then I can put it here and hit save, come back to the application, and it's here. Now, if I had it on five other pages, all of this would have been updated on those five pages 
by just updating it right here with this single change in code. This goes back to the principle of do not repeat yourself. You definitely want to be able to use uh, shared code and uh, anytime that you have the ability to in a Rails project because it's going to save you time, but it's also going to make the code look a lot better. Look how much better this homepage file looks and how much easier it is to debug by being able to integrate a partial here and then anytime we need to go work on that specific design element we can come to that shared partial instead of having to go into the view file itself to make the change so it helps with code duplication but it also helps with having a really clean looking uh, code interface that you and any other developers are going to be working on